It started with a dream. A dream to start a university which would attract and nurture the best agronomists and scientists for the future of water and agriculture and for the future of the country. A challenging barren landscape with deep gorges and many undulations was in our backyard. And never to be deterred by challenges, Bhau took on the task of converting that land in the amazingly brief period of six years. As was his practice, he first built the roads. Roads along the periphery of the property and then roads connecting the various parcels of land. Then the property were secured with a fencing wall. Next came the important job of harvesting enough water to be able to cultivate the land. This happened over a couple of years when the monsoon rainwater was dammed in a series of ponds and nalas to collect further and further downstream. Nalas were created and the overflow created more nalas and ponds. Each of these was allowed to flow only into the next one. None of the water was wasted. Today, we are happy to say that almost 80% of the 500 acres of land is cultivated with cash crops like onions and horticulture crops like mango, custard apple, sweet lime and guava. Bhau, the patron of this project, passed away on the 25th of February this year. But we, his sons, are determined that we will fulfill his dream of a university for water and agriculture on this land, which we call Bhauchi Srishti. Today, we pay our respect to this remarkable man with a small tribute in the form of a garden, Bhauchi Vatika, for his tremendous contribution to the prosperity of the farmer and the country. A devoted team worked selflessly for this project day and night. If Bhau were alive today, he would have been delighted with the dedication of his beloved associates.